I have a confession. Today I really wanted to do an informational type of video, but I just don't feel like doing that anymore. I think I'm gonna do a story time. So, check out my little press on. You know, I'm a press on God. If you have press ones and you want to send me some, please, y'all will definitely wear them bitches. Before. But anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. Story time is gonna be about the time I got suspended from high school. Yeah, like, how can this gorgeous face get suspended? Um, well, number one, be a gremlin. Like, it's easy. So, today I'm just going to be talking about basically how that happened and how I almost got my ass beat. <laughs> yeah. So, it all started... What was I, a freshman? I had to be, like, a freshman, sophomore. I don't know. I was still riding the bus. And I know my junior year, I was riding with my friend. But basically, um, every morning, I would smoke. Like, I would walk to the bus. And this time, I'm smoking. I had my little, like, a little bag. But I had, like, a roach. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm gonna smoke. I'm big. I'm big shit. You know, mind you, back in the day, I wasn't smoking like that. Like, maybe, like, I would roll, like, two blunts for, like, a week. And it was, I would stretch it out. Like, I don't know how I did it. Like, I look back, don't know what I was doing. But... You know, I'm like, yeah, I was big shit. So I'm smoking to the bus stop. And the bus stop, the bus driver sees me. Now, mind you, she had a rule saying, like, if you are walking, I'm not picking you up. So I'm thinking, Shardy finna go right past me. Like, she not worried about me. She not worried about what I need to do. Girl, why she stop to come get me? I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm trying to put it out. I'm trying to put it out. And I put it in my jacket. And I'm the first stop. So I get on the bus, I get all the way to the back, because that's where all my friends was probably, you know, sitting at, at the time. And I'm like, fuck, I'm high as fuck. I, can she smell me? I didn't get to spray nothing. But I'm thinking maybe because I was walking outside, I was fine. But no, that wasn't the case. <laughs> that wasn't the case. We're on the bus. I'm telling my friends what happened. Da, da, da. Next thing I know, she par parks the bus. And she's like, it smells like weed. Da, da, da. She's embarrassing me in front of everybody. My friend took the bag, had the weed. And I was like, oh, that was it. Like, that's all I had. Like, it, it went out and whatever. She's like, well, I still have to tell. I'm like, I have blunt spray. Like, I'll spray. She's like, no, I still have to tell. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Like, how did I end up in this position? Like, damn. And this was during testing, too. I had to suck it up and wait till the end of the day to find out what happened. Mind you, my family didn't know I smoked. So, this was very... That very first time you get in trouble type vibe, yeah, I was shitless. So I had, I had to go to class. I had test still. Um, this is when I was in. I had to be a junior. Maybe I was a junior. Maybe it was like my first semester because I just remember that I was going to. Um, I was doing an internship for like um, kids and stuff, and I was going to the daycare and. Well, I went to elementary school because I had a kindergarten class. And I remember me being suspended. Whatever. We're going to just say I was a junior. It was during testing. We testing. They're like, you got to come back to the office after testing. Oh my. I ended up having to go to this school where it was like a character academy. Where they basically have to like make you do PowerPoints and prove that you're a fucking crackhead, basically. They sent me there. Bro, this shit was so ghetto. Like, it wasn't like bad ghetto. It was just... I didn't belong there, but you know, I didn't get caught, like, so I already really get over there dummies. I think they were the dummies. I was assigned to a classroom um, with one instructor, and then we had to do these, like, modules, and in the modules, they had videos, questions, tests, and at the end of it, we had to do a PowerPoint that we had to do in front of our principal or whoever the fuck, whatever. So I was a smart ass, you know, it was a whole bunch of login. I did this shit at home because I'm like, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here because it was a six week program. But they said if you really wanted to get out, you could. You just got to finish it, you know, in that time frame or faster. Bitch, I, I got that shit done in three weeks. And I think it was only three weeks because I was still doing band practice and I was still like doing my regular homework. So I couldn't get it all done, but... I think I had to do the modules. Yeah, 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 I had to still do the modules. So once I was done with all the modules at there, I just did all the PowerPoints at home. I'm in that bitch. I did all that stuff. I got it done. You know me, AIG girl. And the girl ended up telling me I wasn't supposed to do it at home. I said, well, I didn't know that. I did it, though. Did that. Came back to school. Why did they suspend me for another 10 days? That was three days. Then they sent me there. And then 
while I was there, they said I had to be sleeping for another 13 days. No, 10 days. We made 13 total. The whole thing, my, my, my kindergarten teacher was like, what happened? Like, I was like, oh, I got in the wrong crowd. I just lied because, you know, I'm with all these kids. They didn't want me to think I'm some crackhead or something. But, you know, it worked out. It worked out. And my mama beat, well, she didn't beat my ass. She was mad as fuck, though. What are you doing getting a little high? Where do you even get weed from? Da, da, da. They are trying to get me an intervention about weed. I'm like, girl, I'm going to smoke that gas to lie. But it's just like, yeah, I maybe shouldn't have been doing it on the way to the bus stop. I should have did it, you know, this morning when I was supposed to change my clothes and go. But we was rushing that day. I got comfortable. Don't get comfortable. And, yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting time. I could definitely say I did not expect to be... Um, what's the word I'm trying to say? I don't know. I didn't expect for it to go that way, but I did it. And yeah, I fucking lost. I uh, was been it for those 13 days. My mom was messed up. Took my phone forever. Took my phone forever. Like, forever. I was like 16, I remember. And she was just mad as fuck. She's like, I shouldn't even let you go to prom. I ended up going to prom. And, but then the next year, I got in trouble for stealing. <laughs> At Walmart. Quick story on that. I was in the Walmart, right? Period. I got in trouble. But luckily, I was 17 when it happened. But I had weed in my car again. It was a whole device. It was a lie. It was a lie. 16, 17 on me was stressing my mama out. But now I'm, I'm grown. You know, I'm not doing that shit no more. But yeah, it was 0 out of 10. Don't recommend that shit. And I hated being the one. I think I was supposed to go to ISS, but I never went. Because I was like, I'm not fucking going to that. Like, I'm going to go to class. Nobody's going to question me. They never did. So, 71st, you did, you did not do your job. Because I did not go to ISS. So, that's all on this story time. It was real quick, simple, but it was crazy to me during the moment. Because, like, who the fuck is this been for weed? People get been for fighting. Or, like, stealing. Okay, more fighting. And, like, I couldn't even fight no hoes. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like videos like these, you like story time like these, you know, put it in the comments. I'll keep it coming. I'll lay y'all down, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.